not how I wanted my night to end. Drop the bass. What up, Buttons? It's your boys, Adam Stark. And Alan Roper. And we're going to ask you, what in the sins and returns do those Buttons do? They do a lot. They do a lot of stuff, and we're going to be talking about what Prove those it. sins and returns do. Um, but first... Send it, bro. Send it. Just wanted to make sure that you guys know to absolutely destroy the like button and subscribe if you want to. And also check out the Patreon link in the description. Um, so this today we wanted to highlight uh, Valentino Kane with Deep Down Low. If you don't know this one, this Ooh. is one of my favorite tracks um, just because, uh, well, it's a dope track in and of itself, but the video is absolutely awesome awesome um just very trippy it's for for me it's like one of those like you know going out to a restaurant while you're uh, af after uh like being in the club all night and you're still kind of like coming down tripping just a little bit and everyone else around you uh, seems to be like either being really weird or whatever but they're the ones who are actually being normal and you're being the weird one um yeah been there so, once or twice a so week. I wanted to show some. We'll, we'll we'll show some of these clips here of what I really like in it. But we're gonna watch this video and then we'll get back to it and uh, and and uh, talk about some of the little things here. And then again, of course, links are in the description if you actually want to watch the whole video. Have you actually seen this one? Do you know the song? Nice. So it's new and. I should do that. I know that look. I've I've had that look before. To just they know. Been up all night. They Even know. They shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> Never seen that happen. <laughs> in a thriller video now <laughs> right <laughs> Those 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 face no face things are just creepy as all hell. Oh, that's the worst ever. Yeah, it's like in the Matrix when his mouth goes. Same, same <laughs> thing. Yeah, yep. that's the only thing I think of too. Yep. That boy's tripping. <laughs> so yeah, there are some there are some really cool stuff in here. I think that uh, one the this this um, the way they do the visual effects for the the eyes on this thing. Oh yeah, I've seen that in one other video, and it was in Get Low, Dylan Francis and DJ Snake. Yep, yep. That that was actually around the same time. Uh, I think this one actually came out first. Um, or at least I was aware of this one first, and then uh, Dylan Francis uh, around that same time did some weird stuff with that. But this this old guy is my favorite. That's just the him smiling. 
There's so much thought behind that. You know, the dude's just like, uh, this is not how I wanted my night to end. Yeah, right. Or my morning to start, I guess, really. This, <laughs> I can just imagine. You know what? One of these days, I just want to be that, uh, like that old guy that's just watching just all the young trippers coming and just, hi, <laughs> you guys just having? Did you guys have a fun night? I bet you did. Just being all fucking weird and smiley or making yeah, their yeah. faces at them. <laughs> so, Fuck around you, and get stabbed. Yeah. <laughs> you never know what these kids are rolling with now. And that's just that's just crazy. Candy kids are probably switchblade kids now. We don't know. Oh yeah, you know that's true. You never know. Candy kids Green. go crazy after a while. Oh, well, dear. again, that's uh, Valentino Kane's uh, "Deep Down Low." You should definitely check it out. It is a trippy video. Uh, awesome, dope track. Um, one of my favorites. One of the ones that I used to play back. Uh, 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 on your iPod? No, I was one of the ones that I added to one of my sets uh, when I was when I was still co- uh, compiling sets of a bunch of stuff, which I should start doing again. But yeah, you're um, gonna need to do that for sure. That was that one was a lot of fun to play with. Um, I think I actually did mix it with uh, Dylan Francis's um, and get low. Is, yeah, get low. Uh, but a re- I think a remix of that one. Um, so today we're going to be talking about sends and returns and routing and busing and all of those fun things that not a lot of people know how to do. Um, including me. It's, it's one of those things that is actually, um, uh, you surprisingly don't need it a lot, but it can come in useful depending on what you're actually doing and depending on what type of computer you have. Um, cause one of the main reasons nowadays uh, for what the sends and returns uh, can be used for is to save processing power, um, and we'll get into that. But if, let's, you, ba- if you bash Mac, we're gonna be beefing. Yeah. <laughs> it's not no, not Macs. Just in general, if your computer doesn't have a lot, it's gonna it, this this can help it run a little bit smoother. Um, but basically, mm-hmm. the idea behind sends and returns and or busing um, is basically to uh, to combine your effects. So if you have certain effects like a reverb or delay and you're just using the same thing over and over and over again, and you're just, you know, you're, bare, you're not really tweaking the settings at all or anything like that. This is perfect for doing that type of uh, <laughs> what the heck. <laughs> this is uh, it's perfect for doing that type of stuff, um, so that you're instead of using um, you know a new effect on every single channel, you're actually able to use one effect and then you just link it to those channels. Quick um, rule of thumb: If you're gonna say able to in any sentence and for the rest of your life as an Ableton user, it, this the word is not able to. I'm not able to do something. I'm Ableton. I'm Ableton to do it. Take two out. It's just Ableton do. I'm Ableton do it. <laughs> Sorry. That's the that's them rules. I didn't write them. I'm just the, as Chris Lee would say, the vessel for the rules. The vessel. So I whipped that up a little loop. Um, and so we've got one sound going on here. There are no effects on it uh, through Serum. And there are no effects on here that way zero zero zilts none zero Nil. zero none so what you could do or and what most people do do uh is they will take and they will take their effects and they can put them on uh, directly say we wanted a reverb so you take your reverb and then you put it on here and then you have like a ton more of these tracks and uh you know maybe they're all closely doing the same thing or a little bit of that and now each and every single one of them has uh you know a reverb on it doing something or other and that's just way too many reverbs and uh, it's going to eat up on your processing power now with what we've got right here it's it's a lot it's already jumping up there quite a bit to where um if we only have one of these do to do do to do uh on this one you can see that we, our processing powers is not quite so high and reverbs don't actually take up that much processing so maybe not the best example but so what the sends and returns do is these are called returns and you are sending 
something to them. And so with uh, there are two options for this. There's the main op, like doing nothing but sending it to your return, is this channel, whatever channel is going through, goes to your master. So it's going to come through. And then when you send uh, when you send to one of your returns, either uh, A or B, and they will be measure. Uh, you can do that here, or if you are in session view, you will see them down here uh, for sends A will correlate with A and B will correlate with B. Uh, this is a, a cleaner way doing it in this view is a little bit cleaner way to kind of actually see all this stuff. But for your quick view stuff, you can do them right here. Um, so when you load Ableton in, you're going to automatically get a um, reverb and a delay, delay as A and B. Um, that's just, you know, the default <laughs> template. If you set up Standard. your own templates, you can create your own and save those however you want to do that. Um, so I think if we, the big question is, how do you add to their automatic uh, standard? How do you make a third knob for sins of returns? Ah, uh, yes. Um, so what you can do is you can right click uh, pretty much anywhere on here and uh, it would be add return track and that will add one. You can also do control alt T that will add one or command if you're on a Mac, it's command alt T and that will add a new return in. We're uh, all on Macs, buddy. Yeah, we're all, everybody but me. So as you can see here, there is a reverb in this one, henceforth the name reverb and a delay in here. Uh, usually what you will do, what you will have, especially for effects like this to give a good sound of it, you will um, not always, but um, in, most uh, use cases, you're going to have your dry wet to fully wet, um, just so that every bit of sound comes through it and you're only getting what effect you want out of it and not the actual audio coming in. So when I send a little bit of A over to, uh, or sorry, when I send a little bit of my uh, channel over to A, we start getting a reverb. And so what that's what that's doing is that's actually being added on. So all of your returns actually get added on to um, to master. So whatever your whatever's coming into master, and that's where that second choice of what you can do can come in, is if this audio two, this is going to go to master and it will go to sends. You can set this, and that's the same thing's going over here. So your your uh, sent or your sorry your returns are also being sent to master so you've got two of those uh you've got those two sounds now the reverbed sound and the main sound and they're both going to it so if i take and send all of this over to there but then i mute that return we now just have that same sound again it's still playing whether re the return is being uh returning anything or not one thing yeah <clears throat> This is perfect uh, example of why Ableton is so good and not to no shade on these other companies, but things like Reason and other ones that do patchwork or like real machines where you do the patchwork, you move the cables around, whether digitally or in real life with actual devices. Um, this simplifies it for you by routing audio signal in a simple click. You don't have to see it and that makes it a little hard to understand or comprehend, but you don't need to know it if you're living in the box, so to speak, and recording in Ableton. And what this does is routes the effect signal where it routes the audio signal through an effect back to the master so that you can control how much or how little <clears throat> you want instead of putting on each individual track. Yep. It gives you one way to do it, one conduit for the signal to flow through to that effect and then back out to the master. So that's essentially why Ableton is one of the 47,322 exactly reasons that Ableton is so dope is it just simplifies these things that you would have to know uh, audio signal routing and things on your own that you're doing it with reason and you try to play with with the patchwork or if you get a real machine and you don't know what you're doing you're going to be stuck all day trying to figure out how to do it and this just simplifies it and makes it automatic yep and that's basically what you're saying yep and shout out to ableton live <laughs> yeah <laughs> automatic and so so uh, back to our returns here, we can get, you can ch you can control them just like you would any other channel, of course. You've got your um, uh, uh, volume uh, level here and you can even send them to other returns. So you can have a chain of returns that do a bunch of different things. 
So the that's the additive of it. And so if we wanted to add a little bit of delay on here. And so that's now that's now going through both of them. Um, and you can control on how much that goes on there. So that's pretty much the gist of your sends and your returns. But there's a little bit more to the to the routing and what you can do with it. Um, that's the 101 level stuff. Yeah, that's the that's the 101 level stuff. Um, what you can also do that works almost the same way or in some of those ways is if I wanted to say I wanted a couple of these and they're all doing uh, a little bit something different here. Say I'm using a, um, a, a this sound and I guess it doesn't really matter which one I'm there. And this one's doing a little bit more of a, say, this sound. And, but, uh, you know, an octave up. But they're all playing the same thing. And they're now doing their own little thing there. So we can have them all being sent at different levels if we wanted to to get a different effect out of each of them, saying this one goes all the way, this one just a little bit, this one goes there. Maybe I only want this one to have a little, uh, like I want this is the only one that I want delay on. A little bit too much delay, we'll bring that down. Maybe a little bit on there. So now that, that those are all being added together uh, on that. What we can do if we're not wanting to get too nitty gritty into that, and th again, all of this can be chained on top of each other. Uh, you might know this, but you might not use this this way, is grouping. Grouping, right. uh, grouping can, you group can be- group effects? You can group effects. Basically- oh, shit. A group is going to everything, it's doing the same thing, is everything inside of here, these are no longer being sent to the master, as you can see right here they're being sent to group one. So all audio, all of these are being added together and being sent out through group one and group one is now being sent to master. So if I wanted to affect all of these in the same way, I can then take my reverb and put it on group one and then that will affect every single one of those at the same time. Now, as we talked about before, doing it this way is you don't have the advantage of getting your original sound out while getting the additive nature of returns added onto it uh, because you're affecting it directly. So whatever is coming out of group one is being directly uh, like being affected if you throw those on there. So, so that's one way to do it. But also what you can do, as you might have been able to see up here, is you can also send group one to these as well. So if you, again, want Sick. all of them to be affected, now this is going to master and this is going to my return, which will then get added, uh, will be additive on top of master. I don't like why, how that delay is set, so I'm gonna take it off threes because I hate that default. Don't yeah, it's fucking automatic. do threes. Um, there. So now that's doing all of them. So there's a couple different ways that you can do that. And that goes into just how you want a sounds to be affected. And again, that goes into a little bit of the maths about it. Um, and it's pretty simple math. It's, uh, it's high, it's, um, uh, high level math of uh, or discrete math is what you would kind of call that to where you're not actually dealing. I mean, you technically are dealing with numbers if you wanted to get into the nitty gritty. But what you're doing is basically you're adding one sound onto another. And so basically you're it, these are the groups are kind of like your parentheses inside the math is I'm taking this group. I'm going to add these together first and then I'm going to add that, you know, and then I'm going to MDOS. send off a little bit over here and then they all get added together. Um, 
on to uh, master. So that's the discrete math part of I was it. Saying that's PEMDAS, all the math will go into it. <laughs> I was saying P E M D A S, PEMDAS, and you said send off. And I was like, well, that rhymes. <laughs> but you know the, the order of operations or whatever? The yeah, yeah. Parentheses, exponent, and all yes. that shit. Yeah. Exactly. I don't care about that. Ryan's going to listen to this and go, yeah, he's talking about math. And I'm going to immediately <laughs> slap the phone out of my own hand talking to him about it. Please <laughs> don't a, talk about math. It's a, it's, a little, it's, a, it's a little bit of math. Discrete math is not, I mean, I shouldn't say it's not really math, but it's a little bit of, uh, it's just high, le- uh, the not high level level. It's just easier to understand math because you're just grouping objects together. And remember, there's always resampling tracks. Yes, uh, that's actually what I was going to jump into. Um, is oh, there were that. there's multiple ways that you can um, resample, and one of those ways to resample is let's go ahead and take um, and add a new track in here. I'm just going to use Control T. I swear that we're on the same lev. And then I'm going to put this out here and on the same lev. <laughs> L E V, Lev. One syllable when you can go there. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's easier. I'm on that Lev. Um, so I'm gonna change this color, uh, just so it stands out. So these are now all one. I want to take everything from here, and I want it to make it its own thing. These, they, I'm gonna have them actually going out to the sends here as well, and you'll see I something interesting right happening. Now. So I want this uh, external input to come from in, uh, from group one. And I'm gonna hit record. And this is also gonna go out to um, master. So if I take this and I want this to only go out to audio five. So this now sound is going out to there. So we should, this thing better start where I want it to. Have this to there. There. So arm your track, leave this one alone as is, is now going out to master, and now these are coming into audio number five. So any effects that are on here, which are none right now, are going to be sent to there. Let's go ahead and throw an audio effect on there that we don't already have, like an EQ8. Uh, that's a three. I can count. There. So you can get Ryan here if you need me to. <laughs> so now this is on group so it's affecting all of them and now this is going to come down here so now if we want to record this so now all of that sound is recorded in here we can mute that out. This is now its own audio sample that is being sent out to nowhere right now except for master. So whatever we just recorded, it re- we that's what the resampling is of that. Is we are resampling it and then we can do more effects to it after that. The dope thing is that if you have your and I don't mean to cut you off, but if you have your effects on when you resample it, now that you can turn those effects off on the sins of returns and drop the CPU usage even further down because you just have a flat audio track. Yes, if you yes, if you wanted to um, if yes, if you wanted to get uh, take this out of there now, uh, say you're done you're done with that you're not using it anymore. Yes, you can you can turn you can pretty much turn all of these off. You can delete them if you wanted to, and now you have everything that you just did, and you're not taking up any CPU usage or barely any because now. There are no effects on it, and you're just using a, wa- uh, a wave file. Which goes in hand with freezing and flattening, and we're going to do that soon, too. Yes. Um, so the interesting thing here, um, as I don't know if you guys noticed, but all of this is still happening over here. So now audio group, um, the, the group one is not sending audio to... Uh, master is sending it to five. Five is now has an audio sample on it. So if we, my brain just hurt. If we do this, you'll notice nothing is going out to the returns. But if I turn back on group one, we are getting that. Even though that this is routing to five 
and we're not hearing it when these are off, we're just hearing, you know, we're just hearing what was in there. Damn it. We're just hearing what was in here. So if I mute that, so that's all coming from there. So if we put this here, say we wanted to bring this audio like this, this is now overriding whatever's up here because it's an audio track. So uh, anything coming in is not actually gonna be recorded because it's gonna be wanting to play this. So say I put this ramp up here, but the, um, the group is still sending to the returns. So we're now gonna hear the returns before we hear the actual audio coming from this because I put that volume ramp on there. I gotta turn this back on. That makes sense? <laughs> if that makes sense, I hope, I sure hope it did. It's It just allows you to play with different types of effects and different things in that uh, in that area that kind of allows you to do some really cool controlled uh, effects or controlling like your sample rates and stuff, or your, sorry, controlling things